opening our event out of Palo Alto. We decided to make a change. We're usually in San Francisco, uh, but I'm Marty Sakata, and I started this group um, many years ago. So my brief history is that you know, I'm a Wharton guy. I worked in banking for years. So in you know, Goldman Sachs, uh, JP Morgan, UBS, and I started a group of Wharton guys uh, investing directly in private equity and more into this family office group. And so we've done, you know, uh, hundreds of events and hundreds of dinner parties, and we've had thousands of family offices attend our events over the years and our dinner parties. So uh, we continue to do events. Um, our events are hybrid, so they're in person and online. So we had around uh, 270 signups for this event. We'll probably have 200 of them will be online. Um, and um, historically, um, like we do events in New York, we just did an event in New York uh, two weeks ago. We had around 500 people for that. So we had about 150 people in person, uh, another 50 at dinner, and then we had, you know, 300 plus people online. So um, so just some some quick, um, you know, uh, issues or items that we're gonna be doing. So we have this uh, three city swing that starts in December. It, it goes on for about 40 days. So December 4th and 5th, we're gonna be in Miami for Art Basel. Um, we're gonna be in uh, New York on December 12th and 13th. Uh, and we've got a nice uh, dinner party over at Bristenkopf Arts. Um, and then we're back in uh, Silicon Valley area. We're going to be in San Francisco for J.P. Morgan Healthcare Week, uh, which is January 10th and 11th. We'll be there. And so uh, historically, we get around 11 to 1,200 people per, uh, for all three events. And uh, there's very little overlap. It's about 5% uh, overlap. We've done some statistical analysis over the last five years. So it's great turnout, great people. And I highly recommend Miami Art Basel, December 4th and 5th. It's a, it's a really a fantastic event and it's a fantastic time to be in Miami. Um, so we're here at Wilson Sansini and I just want to introduce Eric Tzu from, uh, from Wilson. He's going to tell us about, you know, his practice, Wilson, um, you know, uh, what their reach is and what their core uh, areas are. So, um, Eric. Yeah, um, thank you for the uh, introduction, Marty. Um, you know, like Marty said, I'm a corporate partner here at Wilson Sonsini. Uh, we uh, represent some of the biggest uh, investors uh, and emerging companies uh, in the world, uh, focusing on kind of tech and life sciences. Uh, you know, we did the IPOs for Apple, Google, Twitter. Um, so we're very well known uh, in the space. We have deep connections with, you know, Sequoia and other large uh, venture funds. Um, and so we're ha very happy here to have, be able to host this event and uh, give our knowledge. Um, as far as, uh, you know, how we can help out, uh, you know, companies and investors that come to us uh, because of our breadth of experience, uh, our deep connections, um, our relationships within the industry, are we able to kind of problem solve, uh, identify issues, and also kind of help companies along the way, whether that's kind of getting formed, financed, acquired, going public, and all the, uh, you know, issues and, and problems that may arise afterwards. Uh, in addition, right, we're um, kind of the leaders in, uh, you know, the regulatory landscape, uh, the investment landscape. And so, uh, you know, the high, you know, level uh, government issues that may pop up, uh, you know, the, the threshold regulatory matters that may arise, you know, we're there to kind of advise our clients on those matters as well. Uh, how many cities are you guys in? Uh, I mean, we keep expanding. So I, I say like 14, 15, maybe, right, international. We have, uh, you know, New York, Boston, uh, Austin, Boulder, Utah. San Diego, three in the Bay Area. Um, we have one in um, Hong Kong. Uh, I think one in um, somewhere else in uh, in Asia. So we're we're very well uh, spread out over the world. And, and the number of attorneys is a uh... probably close to eight hundred. I'd say wow, um, eight or nine hundred. That's substantial. And um, are you a full service law firm, or you're or primarily focused on venture, or yeah, I'd say we're, we're a full service law firm. And what that means is that we help uh, companies do everything. So whether that's um, you know, corporate matters, employment matters, tax, IP, uh, litigation, patent work, licensing, yeah. uh, regulatory work, do all that stuff. Fantastic. And your core practice is in venture? Uh, so my, my core practice myself is in corporate. Um, so I do kind of uh, merging company side practice for the most part. Also have um, some connections with the investors as well, but mostly, you know, venture back companies. Um, I have a, also a, some companies on the earlier side where they're angel financed, uh, high net worth individuals, family offices, that type of stuff. Uh, and then they get past the stage, go to VC financings, and then maybe engage with a corporate or a strategic. Historically, do you represent the venture the venture firms or the firms looking for funding or the uh, LPs? Yeah, I, I think typically we represent the venture uh, funds themselves. Um, okay. And so if there's an investment opportunity, right, we help uh, 
kind of organize uh, due diligence uh, review for the transaction documents. A lot of times the venture funds want to create like a special purpose vehicle, uh, create another fund. Uh, we're there as well to help them with that process. Fantastic. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Eric.